In this example, I'd like to show you how to use the Submit Content Edit macro to edit content from the front end of a .CMS managed website. So let's say for this example you had a staff profile page that you would like maybe partners or even people in your own organization to edit but without logging into the back end at all. So first you'd set up a page like this that would actually list the published content. Then you'd set up another page where the people who had a login role that they could use would actually edit their own profile. So let me travel over to that page. So what I've done is set up a staff profile page, which this is not going to be the page that's actually displaying my staffing list. This is going to be the page where my employees and my partners are going to come to actually edit their profile from the front end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a widget on this page. Just drop a uh, simple widget and place some code here in this simple widget. Okay. What I'm doing just for the basis of this example is um, I'm seeing if the user is set. If the user is set, then I'm passing that user identifier here and searching for a piece of content that has a matching identifier in it for the employee structure. Then this is the part that I'm really showing here for the purpose of this uh, identifying how this macro works. I'm going to set a don't show fields for my .cms user ID which is one of the fields in the content and there's also a host field to show which host this employee belongs to. This is something that I do not want to show these two fields to the employees as they're editing their profile. I would don't want them to touch those fields so I just set don't show fields and I set a comma or separated list for those fields I don't want to show. Then I simply call the submit content edit and I pass the identifier of that uh, content lit. Uh, in this case, staff.identifier. That's the piece of content that is going to match the user who's uh, logged in. So if we do that and we take a look at the front end, save and publish our widget. And I've just got some error messaging here that uh, if somehow the page is reached. Um, in error but that shouldn't happen from the front end and the reason that shouldn't happen from the front end is because here in my page properties what I've done is to force a user login and here if you look at permissions what I've done is taken away CMS anonymous and put only a profile editor those are the only people who have permissions to this to this page so it's going to force everyone to log in. Once they log in it gets their user ID. The user ID matches a piece of content. That piece of content is fed to the submit content edit macro and it shows the form where they can edit their their profile. That's what I've set up for this example. So once we've taken CMS Anonymous it's going to force a front-end user login. But just as a proof of concept let's go ahead and go back to the back end and take a look at a couple of users I've set up with this profile editor role. So you can see here under this profile editor role I've set up two different uh, back end users who can use that uh, role and edit their own profile. So now let's like, take a look at the front end and let's see what happens whenever they try to reach that staff profile edit page. So here from the front end of the site we can hit that staff profile page. Once we hit the staff profile page, because the CMS anonymous permission has been removed from that page, it forces a login. So we could go ahead and log in as one or both of those users at a time. And if I log in as Kyung, he's looking at his own profile. If I log out and I try to log back in as the other user, now she sees her own profile. So let's say she wants to make a change to her profile. And then save the content. Okay, the content has been saved. So now if we came back here and we refreshed, we'd see that the content now has a saved version. I did not use the auto publish option. So now a reviewer could come back here and uh, take a look at the change that's been made and publish that change. 
or you could use the auto publish option that is provided in the .cms documentation for the submit content edit macro and that's how you can use the submit content edit macro to edit content from the front end.